So now we go on to experiment number two. We take sample B that is given to us, a blue crystalline solid. Okay, it's a blue crystalline solid. We put it in a test tube. So it has absor uh, absorbed a little bit of moisture. So it has become a little bit sticky. So anyway, so we now heat it like the way we heated the test tube earlier in experiment number one. So heat the given sample B in a dry test tube and record your observation. Describe the residue, identify the product and make deduction. So as you can see now, we can observe the blue crystalline solid has melted a little bit and then it is giving out water of crystallization as you can see the droplets of water in the cooler parts of the test tube and if we heat it excessively we can observe the moisture coming out of the vapor coming out of the test tube as well so this is nothing the droplets is nothing uh, is nothing but water of crystallization okay now on further heating the reddish brown fumes of nitrogen dioxide will be liberated. Another colorless gas which can, uh, rekindles the glowing splint will also be evolved. Alright? So we are still yet to observe the reddish brown fumes and this reddish brown, brown fumes is nothing but the fumes of nitrogen dioxide. So. And the colorless gas, which we cannot see, will also be evolved, which rekindles the glowing splint. As you can see now, the reddish brown fumes, and at, can you see? The, the, the glowing splint is glowing brighter. Okay? Because there is Oxygen is being evolved. It is. It rekindles. You can, if you can see properly, if you can observe, observe properly, the glowing splint is rekindled, or it glows brighter because oxygen gas is given off, and the brown fumes is nothing but the fumes of nitrogen dioxide. So, with this experiment, we can come into conclusion that the given salt is copper nitrate. Why copper nitrate? Because the salt was blue in color and since it produces uh, nitrogen dioxide gas, it has to be nitrate. So it is the salt given to us, the sample B is copper nitrate.